Wait, okay, wait. the question is, why are we using the more expensive brushless DC generators instead of the readily available inexpensive AC generators? Um, to understand this, um, we have to look at the loads uh, on the boat as well as the efficiency and RPM of the generators. Uh, an AC generator runs at a constant RPM. And if they did their job right, it'll be hopefully somewhere right in here, which is the most efficient range uh, of the fossil fuel motor. Okay, and it'll stay there at that constant speed and then add more fuel as is required to handle the load. However, if it's unloaded or very lightly loaded, uh, like you have your, your generator running and the only thing that you're doing is brewing a pot of coffee or watching a flat screen TV, then you risk uh, glazing the, the pistons and carboning up the, the whole inside of the motor. So whenever you run a generator, you always want it to run properly loaded so that it is burning the fuel, it's lubricating itself, and um, it's running at an efficient range. Um, our hybrid systems, in fact, use a DC generator. That, again, is running off of a fossil fuel motor but it's variable speed and it's running within these ranges and say for a 15 kilowatt generator this is a minimum of 10 kilowatts and this is its maximum output of 15 kilowatts so in fact the generator can vary in speed and therefore not load up and build up but what the real key is is the fact that its output is going into a battery pack. That battery pack is going to ensure that it's always loaded properly. The output of this generator is going to our AC main, which is just whatever is being drawn at the time, which can be not enough to really load it properly or too much trying to overload it. Our output goes into a battery pack which goes into an inverter. And the other thing that happens is that this generator here is load sensing. So it has auto start and auto shut off. Plus, it can vary its output to be within an optimum range all the time without burning too much fuel or too little fuel. Um, so that what happens is my AC main is buffered by a battery pack. The little things like the flat screen TV, um, the Mr. Coffee have no effect up here at all. The big things like the air conditioner um, uh, or, or a dive compressor or a water maker that have spikes for startup, that all comes from here. It never really bothers the generator. The generator is always allowed to run in its happy spot. The big quick spikes for for uh, a, a demand like an air conditioner, 
that'll spike up to 15 amps and then come back to a steady 10 amps is all handled by the battery pack. The generator never has to worry about it. And what this means is that I will always have a properly balanced load on the generator. It will last longer. It will uh, require less maintenance. And because brushless DC is a, a, a new technology that's so much more efficient, the typical 22 kilowatt brushless DC generator weighs about 400 pounds. The typical 22 kilowatt AC generator weighs about 750 pounds. I believe some of them even weigh more than that, but we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. So while I'm carrying these batteries that I'm using for other things, because if I really went and tallied up the weight here, um, I probably, um, just for the sake of comparing apples to apples, I'm probably have a thousand pounds over here, um, and I have 750 pounds over here. But what I have here is the ultimate in efficiency, the ultimate in versatility, um, and I have a generator that's going to last much longer um, and, and um, have uh, more time between maintenance cycles. Um, it just so happens that when we now add this into the rest of the Emotion Hybrid system and I add in a motor, uh, electric motor, even at 16 kilowatts that only weighs 120 pounds, um, and the rest of the propulsion system, the inverter, the converter, and everything else, um, uh, and I say that this was a, 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 a generator uh, that was smaller, maybe only uh, 10 kilowatt, and weighed only 400 pounds. But also over here, I have a propulsion engine that weighs 680 pounds with its transmission um, and, and water filter and everything else. And I also need a couple of house batteries and a couple of starting batteries that will weigh about 400 pounds. Um, uh, and the inverter weights the converter weights, the charger weights all equal each other. What ends up happening when I look at this package, I'm looking at about 1,480 pounds. And on this side here, I'm looking at 1,120 pounds. So when you put it in the context of the rest of the propulsion system, I have now come up with a system that has less maintenance, um, is going to do much more for me um, in terms of the boat. I have much better fuel economy. Um, my generation of power is in an automatic mode. Um, I have the ability to bring in renewable inputs and I'm less weight than the comparable system is on the other side.